Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Naira Lara and today we are going to talk about the present perfect progressive. The Present Perfect Progressive The Present Perfect Progressive or Present Perfect Continuous can be one of the most difficult verb tenses. The Present Perfect Continuous is used in English to indicate actions that began in the past and have just been completed or are not known for sure if they are still in progress. The emphasis is placed on the development of the action and not on its result. Formation of the present perfect continuous. The present perfect continuous is made up of two elements. The present perfect of the verb to be, have, has been, and the present participle of the main verb, root plus ing. When do we use the present perfect continuous? There are two main scenarios in which this verb tense can be used. First, the action that started in the past and continue in the present. For example, I have been playing the piano for three months now. Number two, action that began and ended in the past but whose result continue in the present. For example, she has been studying since last night. Thanks to these two functions, this time is used to highlight the time an action took. For example, you have been cooking all morning. And second, the action on the result. The neighbors have been making a lot of noise since last night. For and since. There are two elements that help form the complements of this verb tense for preposition and since adverb. Here you can see how they work to set time parameters. For helps to refer to a period of time, for example, years or days. Example, I have been waiting to see her for months. Since allows you to determine the exact date of the start of the action. Example, it has been raining since yesterday. How to form the present perfect continuous? The structure for it for affirmative sentences is as follows. Affirmative, subject plus auxiliary plus being plus verb in gerund ing plus complement. Example, she has been working very hard these days. The negative structure, subject plus auxiliary plus not plus being plus verb in gerund, ing plus complement. Example, he hasn't been reading the good omens book. The interrogative structure, auxiliary plus subject plus being plus verb in gerund, ing plus complement. For example, have you been living in Oruro? That's all for the video of today. Thank you for listening. <laughs>